Well, to me, public service really is about making lives of people better. Uh, I come from the Ministry of Home Affairs and uh, really it's about security, making sure that people feel safe and secure. To me, public service is a team sport. Uh, we all have our roles to play across government. Really having your hand in shaping Singapore's future. How to improve uh, the things in the country that people are concerned about. Being part of a group of people who are committed to something that are bigger than themselves. Over the years, I've seen public service leaders having a few key common attributes and these are really commitment to excellence, clarity of purpose and caring for officers. So it's really about how do you bring the team on a journey to really nudge the system forward, challenge the status quo and really push that vision and boundaries. I've been with the public service for about 30 years. I joined the then MRTC, Mass Rapid Transit Corporation, in 1985. I think with each project, there are unique challenges. Many of them are technical in nature, but a lot of it is also about managing your people, managing the team. And I'm very fortunate that we had a great team of people who are very dedicated and competent, and all of us are aligned in terms of a commitment to our goal. By improving the mobility of Singaporeans, we've actually improved the lives of Singaporeans, their well-being, and also to the economy as a whole. I think we all work very hard, and along the way, we make a few mistakes here and there, but we also learn a lot along the way. And I think that makes the life of the public service leader that much more interesting. The key challenge I had is that Singapore is a small country. And some of these big countries like to remind us about that. When I was faced with this challenge, it was really more an instinctive reaction that I'm not going to allow another country to walk all over us. If I had to ascribe a value to this, I think I would call it passion. Passion because I believe in what I was doing. There was a certain sense of mission. Another quality which I would like to share is that of empathy because the ability to put yourself in somebody else's shoe, to see it from their perspective, opens up a path for a real conversation between the two sides. My staff and I, all of us, have something in common and that is we find uh, that we are passionate about the value of sport, how sport can inspire pride and excellence in people's lives. And so when Sports Singapore was given the task to lead the effort to organise the Games, I think my staff and I, and the leaders in Sports Singapore, were excited at the opportunity. We were there on the night after the opening ceremony. Up to that point, we were running four sports competitions. The very next day, we were going to run 24. And I asked the team, what can we do to ensure that the system wakes up? I found out the next day, that at all 24 sports venues, people slept at the venue overnight. Well, I think it's very important for public service leaders to constantly reflect on the very reason why we are serving in the public service. There must be a very strong connection between our desire to serve the people of Singapore, to serve Singaporeans in our own aspirations. Coming up from, from SG50 to SG100 is really about building on what we have already started. People are coming forward, sharing their thoughts and ideas. My hope for Singapore is a Singapore that is progressive, that is inclusive. Come SG100, we have to continue to really build on these values of our commitment, passion and humility, such that it resonates with every single public service officer. I hope it continues to be um, uh, highly competent, effective, efficient, public service. And when you can do all these three, I think the trust will follow. To me, it's really about the analogy of being an orchestra. We have been a well-oiled orchestra that plays beautiful music up till SG50. As we move towards SG100, we may need to build a new muscle where we become also a jazz band, where multiple skills and passions come together to create new music, new strategies, new policies to bring Singapore forward. <laughs>